Alrighty guys, so welcome back to my channel today and we are doing another Sims 4 speed build once again and I decided to do another modern speed build. <laughs> okay, what, what what am I talking about? I don't even know. But I am doing actually a, a modern beach house because I did a modern beach house a few, I think two months ago or whatever. I can't remember, but I wanted to do another one because you guys really, really loved that and it did really well. So I was like, I haven't done a modern speed build in so long that I need to like pick up the pace and do another one. So I thought it would be appropriate to do just a modern beach house, but maybe like later on I will do like another modern speed build. So I got this picture from Google where it looked like it had like was like on a pier or whatever was on. I don't know, but it was like a beach house. So I looked up beach house and it was the most weirdest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And I was like, hmm, I think I can build this. So I built it kind of. And, um, this is like the end result, well, the beginning of the result. It it, got, it gets better after time. It gets better after time. So, I placed the pool here just because it looked, I guess beach houses look better when the pool is in the front. That's just my opinion. So, I, I like pools in the front. I don't swim myself, but pools in the front seem really cool to me. So, I, like, I was like, oh, no, I'm just going to put it there because it's easier. So, um, it took me about two hours to build. Um, it, I finished around like one o'clock in the morning, which was not the best time to do a build. So yeah, that was a thing. And I don't know why I always like record videos at one o'clock in the morning. I should never do that because I get really tired and I'm like, oh, I don't think I should do this anymore. I think I should just wake up in the morning where I feel all refreshed and just do what I do best and just record random crazy videos. Cause I'm like, <laughs> yay. So, um. Yeah, and, and a lot of you guys were saying that I should do a little bit more modern speed builds because you guys like modern and other type of style builds too. So I'm trying my best to like do all types of builds like Victorian, Tudor, um, modern, traditional, modern and traditional to combine together, even like those separate as well. And like some other builds as well, but I mostly do better at modern speed builds because those are like when I first started my YouTube channel, I was like, I do, I'm going to do a modern speed build and that's what I'm best at and they're most easier to do. So I'm like, I'm just going to do it. So yeah, I never know what I talk about builds because I, I never talk about the build ever because it's so hard to do. So as you can see here, this, this, um, yeah, this whole house is full of windows. So you got no privacy basically. So I play this when I was looking up Google on Google Images, I found a like I said I found a beach house and it had a whole bunch of mirrors all around. Some a house of not mirrors, a house of windows. So I just like, you know what? M windows sound cool. Might as well just use them. They look great. They bring in a lot of natural lighting, which is also great so i'm like go ahead and go with it and like my my last um speed build that i did it kind of semi looks similar to this one but it doesn't just because it's not a lot bigger it's on the exact same lot that i built it on but it's a lot different than usual it has actual roofing and a lot more of color in it so i don't know what i was going with with the curtains here i was thinking oh you're like, you know, like in most beach houses, like as you see in like TV and pictures and stuff, they have like a little like sheer curtain, whatever you want to call it, um, hanging above their door. I was like, I should interpret that in this build. Didn't work that way at all. Took me forever to figure out, oh, I think I should stop and continue on the build. Yeah. So, um, I gave up on that dream, came back and then, um, yeah, so I, I, I did a little bit more of a color in this room. I did more green and, um. I, th I guess that's brown. So that room's a little more colorful than usual. So that's what I kind of did with that room. And there's only two bedrooms and two bathrooms. One is like a more of a preteen slash kid slash teen bedroom. And then the other room is actually the master bedroom. It's not big as a master bedroom, but it's a, it's a bedroom. Okay. It's a bedroom. And I do like the way I designed the upstairs a lot more because upstairs is a lot, it's a lot better than anything else than I ever imagined. So I think I should do more, more builds. So, and I think it was time to do another, a modern speed build. Cause it's been quite a while. Like I said, 
been quite a lot, been quite a while. So as you can see here, I'm just placing all the flooring down onto the in the different rooms. So as I me, 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 me. so out of that big open wide space right there that I placed that white door over there, I am I actually did make that like a little of a workout room slash yoga slash just relaxation area just because I didn't know what else to put in there and I wanted to. Like in my last build that I did, I put a gym in an empty room and that's what I want to do here. So I did like a open floor, like a second open floor, like a, I don't know what you want to call it. it. It's an open floor above it. So you got like a little of a more room to do whatever you want up there. So that's what I did. And I don't know what the thing was, was this. I thought it was going to be like a, like a little spare bedroom or like a little garden room or whatever didn't work out that way so I gave up on that and I decided to just do like a little um you like for like your barbecue stuff that you can barbecue here have your little seating and then after that you can just go ahead and sit wherever you want so you can you can you can garden you can barbecue you can do all sorts of things right there you can sit and relax and enjoy your day at the little little area and I know I, I placed these little glass awnings from Get Together that were with the game with Get Together, and I really do like it. It was hard to place them onto the um, onto the on the skylight, so I just kind of just did it that way. It looked fun. It looked it looked fairly easy. So I'm like, oh, okay, I think I should go with it. In the middle, it's gonna be quite difficult. Whenever we get seasons, if it get if we end up giving, getting seasons, I might end up like revamping this house because there's some skylight issues like it's in like an open area for rain to just literally just fall in and then drown everything so i gotta redo that but oh let me tell you when i was searching on google images i the beach house that i found it had plants everywhere so i think a little bit went a little bit crazy with the plants placing them everywhere literally everywhere where the dirt is Literally, I cover the whole space with plants. Maybe that was not the best idea, but I liked it. It looked great. And I said I need to work on my landscape landscaping skills a little bit more and my um, interior design skills as well. But other than that, I think that this garden actually looks very remote, remotely amazing with, with the plants I place and the shrubbery and all sorts of things. So I did do some research on other things and I gotta add those palm trees right you gotta add the palm trees just to make it as a beach house because it's like Malibu or Florida or or um Hawaii or something like that and I think that for my next build I want to try and do like a a modern mansion or like a traditional mansion I don't know I just want to make a big giant build that would take me literally forever to build but I want to actually accomplish a big build like the biggest build that I've done is that park that I did for that quote unquote bohemian week, I guess that I did a long time ago when uh, Romantic Garden came out. And I think, yeah, Romantic Garden came out. I did that. And I was like, hmm, that was the most biggest build I've ever done. It was on a 50 by 50 lot. That was huge for me. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never doing this ever again. It's crazy. It's too huge for me. So I'm like, okay, I think I should step up my game a little bit more, build something huge. Like, like the, I, I guess when I did the modern beach house, it was big because it was like a big lot and the way I built it was big too, but I was like, yeah, okay. That's not, that's not much, but oh, let me tell you. Oh, wait, big build, big park on a 50 by 50 lot. That was huge. So I think my, from that mix, I, I will not, I will wait until I get to a 64 by 64 lot. I'm not going to get that. I'm going to, I'm going to get to that point very soon, but but I will do like a 40 by 30 lot, which is on this, this lot right here is a 40 by 30 lot. And I will maybe build a mansion on a 50 by 50 lot. If so possible, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I should. But then again, I, I, I realized like, hmm, should I, or should I not build on this lot? Like whenever, when I build something, I was like, I pre-built it first. Like I kind of get like a, general structure of the house that I want to build and then I demolish it all and then I kind of rebuild it the way I thought it would be and then somehow it ends up being the same but slightly different 
which is okay, but I always have to preview myself because I don't like to build without any idea before. That's why I don't do a lot of speed builds on the channel because I always, I lose in, I don't lose inspiration, but I never have like a general clue on what I'm going to build. So I have to go to Google Images, pre-built it, see if I built it, and then it takes me about like an hour or two to actually build it and record it because when I record a build, it, it, it brings a pressure to me. I don't know. It's just a, it's just a me thing like where I press record, but then again, I feel pressured because I'm recording because I don't want to take too long where I have to edit most of the stuff out or cut some, something out of the whole thing. But I, I just try my best to do something that looks good and looks decent and looks functional and actually looks good. So I know I used Romantic Garden I think I use Movie Hangout. Okay, I know I use I know I definitely use Romantic Garden because of the plants. Um, outdoor treat, um, get together, base game, spa day. I use a lot of things in this game. Um, I'm gonna try and do another base game um lot. Uh, probably a base game modern house because I know a lot of you guys don't have every single pack that I do, but I think it's necessary to do a base game, like, house. Because I did a base game starter home, which was really fun and to do, and you guys really love that, so I think it's time to do another base game house. Be easier that way. Be easier for me. Don't have these a lot of packs, but still, base game, you're limited on a lot of things. So, yeah, I gotta do my best to make sure I don't use any packs besides the base game. So if you guys want to see like another, like a modern house or a traditional base game house or anything like that, just let me know in the comments below. And also let me know what you guys think about this build because it was pretty awesome to build because I, well, I, I had fun. I had fun doing this build. I can say that because I worked hard on it. It looked great. It seems great. I, I play in the house already because I, Took screenshots of it, but still, I, I love the way I built it. It's kind of my favorite. So if you guys like it, it's your favorite, give it a thumbs up. Because thumbs ups are awesome. And they just bright. They just bring just brighten my day. They bring my day? Bright my day? I don't know. They just brighten my day because I love seeing your guys' likes and comments on how you interpret the house. No, What am I even talking about these days? Nothing. Okay, I don't know whatever I'm talking about. I just do it because I like, I press record and I'm like, I'm going to talk. Nope, didn't work out the way I talk gibberish. And I don't think my Sims can get through that, that chair. Oh yeah, they can. Yeah, yeah, they can. They can do it, whatever they want. So um, with the pictures, with modern stuff, I was like, hmm, what do you put in a modern build? What kind of pictures do you put in a modern build? So I just generally go with all white. And kind of mismatch with colors to make it look like it's popping out, pop of color. So I kind of just do it that way. So that's why I added that those green paintings and then the, the fruit bowl to add a little bit more color in there. And so that's what I kind of did there. And I realized that there's not enough light in this little bottom area for this little, little this little thing. So that's what I kind of did. And it looks great, even in the morning time, and even in the afternoon. Whew, let me tell you a story. The afternoon in the, well, dawn, and then, like, in the afternoon where it starts to, like, be a little bit more bright-ish reddish in the morning, this house, let me tell, oh, this house is amazing. I love how the sun just shines on the house, because it's literally on the pier of the ocean in Windenburg. It's so amazing. I love the lighting in The Sims 4 as of right now, but I literally cannot wait until we get this new improved lighting. Because if you guys did not see a picture, um, Sim Guru Pizza actually tweeted a photo on Twitter. Of course, tweeted a tweeted bleh, 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 tweeted a photo about the new improved lighting that's gonna be coming to Sims Four. <laughs> so real, I cannot wait. I'm literally counting down the days until we get that patch update for that new improved lighting. Because I'm gonna be like, okay, um, uh, it's time for another speed build today. Because I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just. Take pictures. Well, no, I'm just going to pretty much just take pictures all day long. There probably won't be any videos. Well, there will be a video, but of course. But still, I'm going to be taking pictures all day long. And I even might make a montage of videos just for the improved lighting. Because I can. And I just love lighting. I love nat 
Mostly I love natural lighting all the time, but fake lighting, not a fan. That's why I don't have any sorts of lighting equipment in my house. So I'm like, I'm just going to use natural lighting and natural lighting is just a lot easier to use. It all depends on the time of day that you go with. But if you, I don't know, natural lighting is just my, it's a, a big thing in my life. I just love natural lighting. So as you can see here, um, I do, I'm doing the bathroom. All the bathrooms in this house are actually the same. I just didn't feel like mixing it. I feel like it's just, it should just be all the same, the same stuff, placing all the toilet, the sinks, the shower, and it's just the random decorating items, of course. And I, I, I don't know, this could be interpreted into a master bedroom or just a regular, be or a regular bedroom. Either way, it looks like a good bedroom to use for your Sims, like a single Sim or a couple with a child or a couple and no children or just a single Sim and a child or whatever you want to, or friends or friends that basically you can have friends living in here or just a basic beach house that you have parties at. And you just have spare bedrooms and whatnot. So I don't know why, but I love these move these blah, 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 blah. I love these movie posters that came with a patch update and they're so amazing that they fit in anywhere. Even modern even like even in modern like beach houses or modern anything, they totally fit with, with the theme. I don't know why. I guess it's just me, but they totally fit with my builds that I use. So I generally do like putting those movie posters in there. And they just seem like a nice touch. And I, I like how I'm mismatching stuff too, which is so cool. Like the green and the white paneling. Oh, so good. So good. I love it. And I believe that we're getting close to the end of this build, of course. About 16 minutes in. If you're still watching, props to you. Because I'm surprised that you're listening this far of my voice. I'm like, really? Is my voice that good? Is that voice that good? I guess so. But um, yeah. I say um a lot, and I say okay a lot, and I say mm, okay, yeah, uh huh, yeah. So uh, yeah, okay, okay. I need to stop. I need to stop. As you can see, that I am putting a little. I was at first I was gonna make this like a little living room area or like another bedroom, but then I was like, no, 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 no. I'm going to make this like an open bar area where your Sims can like have parties and drink and have fun and just be sociable and. Just have a fun time. So that's why I did place the, that bar and the, the easel and just a little sitting area as well. And here's like the little yoga, workout, meditation room, whatever you want to call it. So that's why I placed a lot of working out posters and some stuff from Get to Work and some spa day stuff, as you can see from the mats and just some regular speakers. So I was like, I got the vibes. I got the, I got the chill vibes of the incense and the cool drinks and the funness and whatnot to me is great so if you guys want to download this house it's on the gallery right now it's called pure beach house on the gallery i use the hashtag spring sims and then beach house and then i use my get together hashtag sSGt because i can and i wanted to because I, I might end up using some get together i don't know who's gonna live in this house but it's gonna be there on the gallery it might be in my world but still i love it and it look it, it just seems great to me and I, I just generally just love building. And a lot of you guys love my builds, which I truly, truly love. And I love seeing your comments all the time. So if you guys want to comment and you're still here, comment saying that you're still here watching this video at this certain point in time of the video. So I give you props for that because you're dedicated to my videos. And like, wow. So we are getting close. I'm just making sure everything's all good and dandy and fits right. But yeah. So here we are in the screenshots right about right about now. So <laughs> okay, that was a little bit too excessive. But here we are in the screenshots. The front in the build looks so so good. I love the lighting so far. As you can see, the sun just hits right on the flipping house. So here we are in the bedroom. I did remove we'll move the bed over a little bit more and the window as well, just to fit that poster there. And just different screenshots of, of different rooms, of course. So, 
yeah, I'm just going to leave it off here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to comment down below all your thoughts and suggestions for future builds, creative sims, and other type of videos as well because I always generally put them into consideration all the time as you can know in all my other videos as well. Maybe my next build will be a mansion or a traditional or a Victorian house because I haven't done a Victorian house in a while or never, but still, I think I should do one. But yeah, if you guys want to see that, let me know because I will totally do one. And, uh... Yeah, it's about close to, I think, 230,000 simoleons on the gallery. So you got to have that, those Sims who are living that rich lifestyle or they just want to splurge and buy stuff because they can and they want to. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to comment down below all your thoughts and suggestions. Like I always said, subscribe and like the video and share it because it's awesome and you love modern speed builds all the time. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye.